Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And welcome back to 999. We're gonna be going through door four and see what's beyond it. Woohoo! I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and <laughs> I did me. go back and I erased all my save data so it shouldn't have grayed out options like it did before. So it's completely... Now it's completely, completely blind. Yeah, as far as the game goes. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. You this should be fine. <laughs> it's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. <sighs> now then, goodbye. Careful. <laughs> now then, goodbye. So formal. Ace is very polite. <sighs> so horrible. <laughs> Snake's what are like, you doing? All right. We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. Bye. Hey, how is it over there? <clears throat> Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? <sighs> <laughs> Uh. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be that gate thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The beeping stopped. Whew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys! Are you doing alright over there? Yep, we're fine. Uh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red. But the color is different. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, Thanks. We should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. It's funny hearing Ace be like, well, Junpei, we'll see you later. And then Junpei be like, oh, awesome, huh, right, damn it. I know, Junpei is <gasps> quite the emotional individual. Uh, and, Ace, and Ace is just like, okay then. Junpei. Goodbye. Yeah, I forget uh, Ace's voice actor's name. It's like Richard something or other. He's been in a lot of stuff. Like, I recognize some of the things he's been in. Mm. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. It's a good thing that they don't have to do it in any particular order. <clears throat> right. Okay. We ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Now that everyone's vocalized their thoughts on that. Yeah. They do Run! it. But it's not as bad as Danganronpa. In that Damn. respect. It's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device! Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I Stop already am! yelling! Just Don't tell what? me the dead is in one of those rooms! Split up! Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count! We just need to open them all! It, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving. Oh, there Whoa. it is at the end of the hallway. Run. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that, goddammit. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. 
No one knows. Chill. It's the dead. Get over here. Come on, everyone. Jeez. <laughs> Stressful. <clears throat> <sighs> Uh, it looks like it stopped. Huh. 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 There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. And here's the light. A keyhole. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. Saturn. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I think so, yes. <laughs> that's all we had to say about that's, that. That's probably the most baby boomer thing I've said in a while. I see. Maybe. Wait, <clears throat> where's Santa? Yeah, so I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. <laughs> it means Maybe you're dead. Maybe it's the room number. <laughs> the door on the left has a B92. And the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! <laughs> I like the sound hey, of the feet. Uh, it opened. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. <laughs> Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Do we look at an apartment or do we look at a bunch of different rooms? I guess we'll just have to find out. Seek a way out. Okay. So this is uh, the this the is the room. Okay. <clears throat> so like this is where we're, it's gonna start us. Okay. And then uh, looks like there's a bedroom down at the bottom. And then uh, bathroom, a bathroom right there. And a living room. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna check something real quick. Hang on. Uh, capture cursor. Oh, okay, my cursor wasn't showing up earlier. That's so weird. <coughs> All right. Okay. I didn't notice that. All right. So. Let's look at that do? vase. That vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are, are you going to steal it? <laughs> I forgot what she sounded like, so I just kind of <laughs> went for it. This is kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant-like nose, sucking on a human being's brain? Where the hell did that come from? Oh, what's her brain made of? Can't say I'd mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Okay. What's her brain what's made what, of? What's Noodles? inside your brain? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's inside your head? I want to see in there. Her brains are made of jello. <laughs> he, like picks up a knife. Let me see inside your head. I want to wear your face. I want to wear your head on my head. <laughs> like a hate. Oh. <coughs> like a hate. <laughs> so this is so bathroom. We, so we can't look at the vase. No. <gasps> Can we move the tile around? That's the bathroom wall. Thanks, June. <laughs> God, there are square tiles all over it. Well, I think it's more for the people playing the game. They might be like, "What am I looking at?" Yeah, <laughs> I want to. I want to touch it. 
that's just a shower head. There's nothing special about it. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. Hmm. Boring. I know, right? Toilet. Shower curtains, huh? Let's try closing it. Seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain oh in all its waterproof glory. I regret coming in here so much. There's nothing. Suspicious. It's just a normal old shower curtain. Is I think that's it. Uh, a narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. It's getting awkward here. <laughs> I think that's her that says that. Oh, no, maybe I say it. This is I awkward. think every time there's no name, it's you. Time to open the curtain. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Useless scene. Why don't we go back to the living room? Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's that on the table? Matches. Let's burn this place down. It's a box of matches. <coughs> there are matches inside, obviously. Cool. Oh. oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. I'm Let fine. me see your forehead. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess I am. Hey, come on, it's not like that. Hey, come on, it's not like that. Let's do... Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I am. I guess I am. Should we go with that one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> but is that, that really the truth? They, that, okay, so you know how in Dengrumpa they say like, what the heck, and they have their little like catchphrases. In this game, I, I found that there's a lot of times when the characters say like, damn straight, when it's like, not the you right time to say that. You wouldn't say that in that situation. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I love it. Anyway. Damn yeah, she's straight. questioning us. Is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No. Why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hmm. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean like the number of men I've dated? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. <sighs> Time zero. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. Uh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I see. <laughs> this is the weirdest time to have this conversation. It's okay, don't worry, they don't do this much. Okay. It's, it's mainly just right here. Don't you want to know anyway, how many men I dated? I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh, um... Well, if it had something to do with school, 
Then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's the point. Hmm. They don't want to be forgotten. What's that weird cabinet over there? Uh, it's a display case. Oh, okay. Um, uh, there's nothing being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty, too. Cool. Ah. Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have the time to be relaxing on a sofa. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. A bed. Nosebleed! <laughs> 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 It's a light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets on the blanket. Nothing exciting. I want to sleep in a bed like that. I like the idea of it having walls. Look, there's uh, two pillows right next to each other. Guess it's a double. Huh? What's up? Oh, wait, huh? What's up? Oh, sorry, that's you. You're turning red. Oh man, is her fever back? Does he think hey, that- Hey, are you all right? Does he think that blushing is getting a fever? I don't know. All right. Sometimes you get, sometimes you, your face gets flushed when you have a fever. Yeah, and but- And she just had a strange, like sudden fever. When she saw the dead body, she yeah. didn't have a fever, she just passed out. He said that she had a fever. I know, it's weird. Okay, whatever. Okay, she didn't have a fever. She just passed out. I just, I don't think her bodies I work like that. No, that's I not just what never heard of I that happening. That that's not what happened. She it's didn't have a really fever. It's just really weird. She just passed out. That's weird she had a fever. I don't think she did. Do you feel better? <laughs> do you need to uh, I just clacked this against my teeth so hard. I hope the mic picked that up. You what? I just clacked the cup oh, against my teeth. I'm sorry. Do you for need you to uh, lay down for a minute? Uh, I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Uh huh? She's like pushing hard for her uh, hey. relationship. Hey, uh, seriously, uh, are, you, are you really okay? I want to get into your pants. <laughs> okay. Bottle. Oh. Oh. Well, this isn't a painting. Is it a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. Would it be beneficial for me to try clicking the mouse for a little bit? Why? You're just... What am just, I doing? You're just choosing. I'm supposed to be choosing. I'm choosing? N never mind. I'm not choosing anything. Okay, I'm sorry. It was, what, oh, sorry. I know, because I was trying to get you to click on the bottle and you clicked on the Sorry, I just clicked on something, sorry. I know. Well, wait, we gotta read this about the map screen. <sighs> it can only be viewed during the story sections. Sorry! Here you go, Kimmy. No, it's fine, let's read about the map section. No, let's, no, let's just skip through it. Let's just skip through it. No, stop! You said let's get through it! I was, I'm keeping the mouse for now. Okay. Until you learn to behave. <laughs> I'll go learn to behave in another room. I'm just kidding. Is it once every video that this I threaten is, to leave? <laughs> this is the back and forth that the viewers crave. Yeah, that, this is what they love. Our <laughs> normal interactions. <laughs> Clicking the green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. That's cool. Oh, oops. You clicked out of the game. I know I did. All right. This ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? <laughs> Of 
Sank. <laughs> I like how he says it sank. I don't know why. I don't. I just can't understand him. Makes me say. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm. That's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do Where you do think we... this boat is? Where do we just go for a second? We, he just turned around. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't know. Any other questions? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no. Never again. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I would say a replica of the Titanic. A replica of the Titanic? A replica? A yeah, replica? you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. People who want no to murder way. others? Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Yes. It's the site of the worst accident in history. Uh, over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? This girl's odd. Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? No. You want to say no? I want to say no. Sorry, but I, I can't really say I believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, what about you? No, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. Yes, I do believe in curses. <laughs> in fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse uh, of the Egyptian what? mummy. Oh, girl. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, I thought she was singing at first. One? I was like, what? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. It's true! How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about it? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. <laughs> pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, I, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And... Yes, saponification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say... She was frozen. What? They're frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... That feels Ice like that a hint. Doesn't melt even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Well, you just had <laughs> you just had uh, the first of many bizarre little interactions in this game. That was really, really weird. All right. Dang.
right? <laughs> There's gonna be more, so brace yourself. Great. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Yeah, because we're alone with you, weirdo. <laughs> well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Just kidding. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. So is hers. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. All right. That's why her oh. eyes are closed and she's giggling. Yeah. Because she's like, I'm imagining it. <laughs> <laughs> A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, sorry. You decide... Let's leave the room. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to click on the desk. Oh, so I don't really get to choose, do I? Fine, let's leave the no, room. No, choose a desk. Oh, you told me to leave the room. Oh, my God. All right. Look, we need to find a key. What do you want to click on? The keyhole. Look, there's a key. A key. Do you think it's the key to the dresser? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Sure. The mirror. I'm awaiting instruction. This is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing. Oh. oh. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? What's wrong with that? Hey. We don't have time for that. We just had a five minute conversation about a fucking mummy. Now we don't have time for this? Come on. It's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Uh, who? What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Uh, forget it, Jumpy. <laughs> he is dense. The stool. The chair that goes with the dresser. What? Because I clicked it slightly before you said to check it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, exactly why. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Okay, I'm awaiting instruction. Fine, I want you to click on. The lamp on the dresser! <laughs> Can y'all believe this? <laughs> but you were waiting a long time. I can't click on the lamp on the dresser. Okay, that's fine. You can click on the light. It's a light. <laughs> Thanks to it, we can see. Uh, thank you! Thanks, freaking Jeff from Community. All right. <laughs> well, that sounds like something he would say, like Joel McHale, where, mm, it's a light. Mm, thanks to it, we can see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty smart. I think I'm pretty smart, anyway. All right. I feel like his noise would be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about that. It's stupid. Uh, sarcastic comment yeah. about your future and yeah. career. Uh. Right. Anyway. So we can't click on that vase. We did We did click on the vase. We did not click on the vase. We, we clicked on the picture. I swear we clicked on the vase. It was the first thing we did. Oh, you're right. Looks like a valuable vase. Empty, though. Oh, we didn't learn this. It looks like there's a room to the right of the vase. That's the bathroom. Yeah. Can we click on that red vase? It just takes us in here. Lame. So we can't actually go to the other room. We can? Let's do it. Jumpy, where are you going? Um, uh, I was thinking of going over to Lois's room. Why? What do you, what do you mean, why? I'm just gonna go check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> sure. Leave it to me. All right. Off to the other room. Hmm. Let's click on the vase. Looks like a valuable vase. Empty, though. <laughs> Seems to be a room on the left side of the vase. Look, the painting's missing. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta 
Biakia. I gotta do Santa. No, it. Huh? I was trying to say Biakia. Yeah, yeah. That's not quite what he sounds like, though. But it's close. There's a square tile in this frame. It's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. Okay. Wanna check out the bathroom? Yeah, let's go potty. Let's go potty in the potty. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. Cool. Great. Toilet? Oh, there's no shower curtain. Oh, that's odd. This room doesn't have a shower curtain. This room? Well, um, there were shower curtains in the bathroom that June was checking out. But you're saying this bathroom doesn't have any. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> yes. Hmm. There's probably a reason why. There's probably a body wrapped up in it. Probably. You want to check the toilet? Yeah. Toilet. Is there anything in the toilet? Guess not. Tank's empty too. <laughs> That'll take me a while to get used to it. I understand. Toilet paper. Oh. We can never go back. Some toilet paper. We've got two rolls, I guess. Cool. Let's leave. Check out, oh. There's so much stuff in here. I know, right? Let's look at this candle. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. Is she more bored than that? Less breathy? This might come in handy. It's kinda. This might come in handy. Yeah, it kinda. Okay, I'll be a little less carry. It's a candle, Junpei. Junpei. <laughs> it's on an iron candlestick. That's a pretty big candle. If we light it, it'll probably get really bright. And now we got matches! Oh, yeah. We probably don't need to yet. Okay. We want them. I just don't want it to, like, burn down if that's a thing. Where to next, master? The display case. Well, this is a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. Wanna take a look? Shit. It's not opening. All right, you grab that side of the table and I'll get the other. Let's smash this bitch open. I don't think that's going to work. That looks like tempered glass. I don't think throwing a table at it is going to break it. But there's a, a piece of the picture in there. Can we use our key, or is it to a different dresser? This isn't a dresser. Damn. Damn. Guess it's the wrong key. Well, that means there's gotta be another one somewhere around here. Otherwise, we aren't gonna be able to open this thing. Okay. Looks like otherwise we won't be able to open this thing. Okay. Hey, Junpei. That room's pretty dark. Oh my god. Don't you have something that'll give us some light? Yeah, your butt! Something that'll give us some light. Hmm. Too bad we don't have a torch. Uh... I know. I didn't tell you to do that. If I use these matches to... <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in the next <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'll see you in the next video. Kimmy won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon, Alice. <laughs> okay. If I use these matches to light the candle. I wonder what will happen. Wow, that's what it's almost like that's what matches are for. If I use these matches to light this candle. So, you lit the candle. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a reference to Lord of the Rings. I'm sure it'll be a light in dark places. When all other lights go out. Tolkien nerd Ooh. over here. You know who says it? Gladriel. <laughs> well, I had no idea. <laughs> Gladriel's my favorite character. <laughs> awesome. With the light from the candle, maybe we can take a look over there. <laughs> but it gets so hot when I hold it. 
Oh, it's so hot. I want to put it down. Then put it on the dresser, you pansy. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Are you well, why Lotus? Don't... <laughs> <laughs> I should have never mind. What? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. I just got the giggles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's funny about it? I got the giggles. <laughs> I'm crying now. Do you want me to say no. it? <laughs> I think I might just say it. No, why don't you well, say it on top of the dresser? <laughs> okay, we got through it. We got through it. <laughs> it's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to take a time out. Maybe it's bedtime for you. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> that you said the same thing that she said? Alright, cut. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> we, we need... We need a time out. Because... Nothing funny <laughs> happened, but apparently it's hilarious. Oh my god. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> I know, I'm like crying. <clears throat> okay, I'm better now. I don't know what just happened. Uh, Kimmy had a laugh attack. But uh, anyway, I'm not letting it so we lit the candle, we placed it on the dresser. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go. This is Santa talking. <laughs> hey, got pretty bright. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, now we can look around a little. <laughs> I can't do, do you it. want me to just do the voices? No. <laughs> Uh, now we can look around a little. There we go. We just Got need to get it. separated. I need from to the get moment. it away from the dresser. The dresser's making me laugh. The dresser drawer. It's locked. But oh we have God. the dresser key. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Candle on the dresser, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the dresser key on the dresser. Let's see if oh. this. Yes. Yes, it worked. Oh God. <sighs> it's a painting piece. That's a strange design. Is it ceramic? It doesn't look like there are any puzzles in it. Oh. Cool. All right. Uh. Wow. It's dark. <laughs> it's real dark over here. What do you want to click on? We have on? to get the candle. <laughs> uh, painting? There's a picture of an old cruise ship. Is it the Titanic? What's on the... Is a bottle on the dresser? A bottle full of water. I don't think we're gonna need this for anything. All right, the bed. Oh, no. there's the shower curtain. A curtain, huh? Well, it's got all these metal rings, probably so you could hang it from something, you know? Thank God he's with us to help us out. <laughs> Thanks for the illumination, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it doesn't look like a normal curtain. The way it feels, I think it's probably waterproof. Cause it's a shower curtain. Oh my god! Shower yeah. curtains are like that. It's not a normal curtain. It's a shower curtain. A <laughs> shower curtain. Basically, it, it's it's like it, they're telling you that it's a shower curtain, even though it doesn't say it. Yeah. yeah. Which would make this a shower curtain. Um, <laughs> a shower curtain, huh? Okay. Ooh. All that laughing made me really hot. Anything under the blanket? Nope. Nothing suspicious here. Okay. Huh? Hey, what the hell? It, it just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out? We should go see. <laughs> Santa just goes like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right whenever she's like, this is a shower curtain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she and Junpei over by the bed, and then Santa's just like, 
He's, he's, yeah, he just, he's just like stay behind him. <laughs> I like the idea that he spits on it a little yeah. bit. He's not just like, he's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would blow it out, Lotus? <laughs> we should go see. Okay, let's go check it out. <gasps> the candle is gone? There's a candlestick covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Is that a short burn? Hey, what's this? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. Candlestick key. The part of the candlestick where the candle goes looks like a key. A key, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think I ran into a lock I couldn't open earlier. Oh, to the display uh, case. Interesting. Look at that. I like the idea of hiding a key in plain sight. Yeah. Under a candle, that's kind of cool. That is cool. Like, I'd like to see that in an actual escape room. Yeah. A lot of the stuff I see in this game, I'm like, I would love to play in an escape room where you actually do that. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in, like, the Room series that I've been playing. Uh, there are so many places where they, like, hide latches and things that would be totally yeah. doable in an escape room. I'd like a, so cool. an, an escape room that has more physical interaction. Yeah. Like, the stuff that they do in this game. Instead of just, like, look for a code. Yeah. You're gonna need a code. Yeah. I think it's because codes can't be brute forced. Yeah. Let's we'll see if this candlestick key will do anything. Yes! <laughs> it opened! All right, pull that shit open. <laughs> okay, Santa. Get that plate. Hey, don't you think the pattern on that tile looks like something? Yeah, I think I saw it somewhere. It's the painting! Well, they haven't been to the other one. Hey, Junpei, you got a minute? I know, but they saw the painting with the three missing tiles. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? I got Holding four on to things. things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, Those... faith, love, and luck? Those are the things he hates? Apparently. <clears throat> Damn straight. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> and you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but... What does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? Each leaf? Is this like common knowledge? I've never heard of that. I, I don't know. Okay. And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Here. What are you, a demon? What do you want to do? Take it or don't take it? In real life, I would take it, but I kind of don't want to take it just to see what would happen. You don't want to take it? No, let's take it. Because then maybe we can give it to Clover. Okay. All right, sure. I'll take it. Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? No, you really I don't hate know. Those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. What, worried about the four horsemen? Nah, come on, man, that's just silly. Maybe back in the Dark Ages that kind of crap scared people. This is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. I'm a little insulted. Then why do you All hate right, four so much? 
because it's a half-ass number. Not the best or the worst. That's why. <laughs> yeah, what? Nothing this man says makes any sort of sense. Also, what's up with all these, like, scraps of fabric wrapped around him? Oh, it's just his style. He looks like he's gonna strangle himself. Character design. I don't know. I mean, it looks Nine cool. Don't get me wrong, but... Number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. What are you... You play? Play? You mean like gambling? You mean like gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I mean? Um, uh... In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grand. But the lowest, most worthless cards, zeros, they call monkey. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? Hmm. Zero's a monkey. What? <laughs> oh, man. You're totally right. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the Nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. And of course, it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. You just drop the tens digit, and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh, yeah, I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes nine wins? Wait, did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Of course. That's why it's called the Nonary Game. What? Huh? You don't know? Nonary means something derived from nine, or base nine. It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means nine. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. Two is bi, like binary. Binary means composed of two parts. Three is tri, I'm sure you've heard that one before. Like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, septum, and so on. And of course, the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? I see. So then Nona means nine. So, how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we Eight have? now. They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Zero said nine hours. And finally, to get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> huh. Well, let's see. Let's go what? put those plates in. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hey, Junpei, that tile you've got. You think maybe you're supposed to put it in one of those empty spaces? I mean, the pattern does look kind of the same, doesn't it? He's right. I think so, too. But if that is the case, you're going to need to collect all three tiles, right? Don't you think we should collect all three of them before you start putting them in? All right. Fine. Okay. Got to catch them all. Well, let's put the shower curtain up and then go unlock the other dresser. Uh, and check on June. Let's put that shower curtain on those hooks. Let's try spreading the curtains. <clears throat> There's a hole. Wow, that's a pretty obvious people. Somebody's really dedicated. Well, the hole this big, you gotta wonder if maybe they wanted to be caught. 
So you're saying maybe the one getting spied on was into that shit. Maybe they were into like those home invasion fantasies. Home invasion? Interesting. I see. You two are real <laughs> idiots, you know that? I like Stupid. Lotus, she's funny. <clears throat> <clears throat> she got that sass. Let's try spraying the curb. <gasps> Look, it's still there. There's a hole in the curtain. If I look at it from a ways back, I can see a single tile. All right, from here I can see what tile it is. Looks like it's fifth from the top and third from the right. How would he possibly know that? Might as well put it back. Uh, fifth from the top, third from the right. Yeah, he got it right. So it's that green one. Let's see. Things not, oh, sorry. Things not budging. Mm, well, then that means. Nothing? Let's see. I mean, surely it means something. <clears throat> yeah, we, we don't have anything except for the tiles. I guess let's go back and talk to June. What's up? You going back already? Well, I can't just leave June there by herself. Well, I <laughs> just can't. <laughs> what, you think you're, your, you're her knight or her protector or something? You're creeping me out. Whatever, man. I'm going. Santa's not a jolly fellow. Get it? Yes. Yes. What are you mumbling about? Did you figure something out? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna tell you anything about next door. <laughs> so... Shall we look for that tile in there? Yes. <clears throat> All right, I'm looking right at it. This one? Yeah. Here it is! Yes, this one's loose. I think I can get under this with my nails and... Gross. Yes! It's a plate! Who would have thought this would be hidden in the bathroom, huh? You did a good job finding it. So one side has a design like the rest of the bathroom tiles, and the other side has the black and white design? I think I've seen that pattern somewhere before. Ooh. Yeah, I think I have too. Okay. I wonder, I guess the other side of it was the bathroom tile. That's interesting. <coughs> the exit. Lotus and Santa are in the room on the other side. I'm gonna go check up on them. So are they just expecting people to pause the game after every mouse click? Like, is that why it repeats so much? Like, in case someone, like, stops right before then or something? What do you mean? Because it just, it seems like it's constantly reminding you of what just occurred and, like, what just happened. It's just, they're just hints. Okay. If, in case you're stuck. Okay. It's just interesting. I mean, some that people, wasn't me some people to be that mean. are, just... some people that are playing these games, you know, they're not used to puzzles. Okay. So. Oh, know. okay, that's fair. I mean, like we play a lot of this type of stuff, but some people yeah, might not true. get it. There's a tile in the frame, so I guess I'm supposed to put tiles in the empty spaces. Like it's annoying for us, but I imagine yeah. for some people it's helpful. Yeah, that's <clears> fair. <throat> All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll make quick work of this. Yeah. Let's see, I think it's actually, yeah. Good job. Thanks. Yes, I did it. There, picture complete. And there goes the frame. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a hole in the wall. Like a hidden safe or something, you know? Anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. It's the Mars key. Yeah. Whoa. This is one of those Mars symbols. The door at the end of the hallway. It has the same symbol engraved on the keyhole. Then that's got to mean. Yes, we can use this key to get through that door. 
cool. What's the deal with this picture anyway? I... I think I've seen this picture before. Before? Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult, exactly? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> are you serious? Telepathy? Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching onto a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, I... Um... Anyway, I saw a picture like that in this book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? Are we gonna say what, what June mean? said? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Hmm, I, I guess it looks like... What do you want to say? A man's face, a butterfly, koi, a dog, a small boat floating in a lake, or... <laughs> what is... F f funya rinpa? I don't know. Funya rinpa. I don't know what that is. say I would say koi that's what I said my first playthrough really mm -hmm. it's that big design koi? it looks like a fish yeah that's what I thought too see here's the head and the tail yeah and this here's the hands and the feet back here I can looks see the like dog. he's got some wings on his back too I don't see a butterfly I really don't think that's how koi looks <laughs> Junpei are you just screwing around nah. forget it I'm just gonna tell you. This is a dog. See? What? Like this. What? Yeah, right. I so... and now I can't I can't not see it now. But <laughs> Wow. I've seen it all my first time. Yeah, no. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier. Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So, their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. To Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, Etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 
10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change statistically. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? A field not visible to the eye. So if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. Is that a real thing? Hmm. Uh, psych! Oh. <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. That sounds interesting, though. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station, after all. Right! <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I will say, there are some things that they say in this game that I was like, no. And I looked it up and I was like, oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Sounds really uh, interesting. really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. And some of the things aren't exactly true, they're, but they're like based on real information, but they're dramatized. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> 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 All right, Santa, we know you're not interested in All anything. Right. Enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Word. Huh. A field not visible to the naked eye. Morphogenetic field. I still see the elephant demon. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the hallway. I'll go get June. You guys head to the door. Okay. Roger that. Yes! It unlocked! <laughs> Good job, Junpei. <laughs> Good. Now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys staying around for? Let's get out of here. I'm assuming June is with us. Okay. Come on, Jumpy, let's go. All right, let's go. Found it. You found it. Oh, another hallway. All right. Well, this seems like a good uh, spot to break. Sounds good. And we'll come back uh, tomorrow with another video. So, what did you think about uh, the first room? Apparently, I found all of that hilarious. But <laughs> besides that, besides the the giggle break, the weird that eruption. You had to take. Yeah. Um, I like. How, uh, God, my hair is a royal mess. Uh, I liked the puzzles. I like how they're warming us up. Yeah. You can see that, that how was, they're building the puzzles. That was and the I, that's easiest fun. room. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. Well, the first room was the easiest room. Well, the first room, yeah. Yeah. yeah but Although like, I think, I think kind of the number code was a little more intricate than most of the stuff we did in that one, that last one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was more code related, whereas this is more like practical. Find the thing. And, yeah. Match it, it, it was more visual. Although, it, all the puzzles were visual. I liked the tile thing in the bathroom. Yeah. That was cool. That was kind of neat. I I did get stuck in that room. Like, that was the last thing I hadn't done. Like, mm. I put the shower curtain in the room, but I didn't think to move it. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, oh, like, no. I put it up, and then I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> I mean, well, I, I was stuck for, like, a couple minutes, you know? Right. Just it wasn't like you were stuck. It wasn't like I was sitting days. there for hours, like... You come in a week later. I still don't know I what just, to do. I just don't get it. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. No, I like seeing how uh, how they're building up the puzzles to kind of train you and challenge you a little bit more each time. 
Uh, and I, I'm enjoying these very bizarre side conversations yeah. I'm having with people. It's because like Danganronpa has some bizarre side conversations, but they're not like this. No, they're not. It's like a very different kind of bizarre. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is... I wasn't expecting curses and conspiracy theories and pseudoscience and there's uh yeah hating the words hope faith love and luck that's very odd yeah faith hope and love um i will say you know and this doesn't spoil anything because it's all just so vague right now but everything that they say in like the little cut scenes in the middle of the escape room like it's relevant I'm sure it is, yeah. and I'm excited. It's not just like, oh, huh. huh. That's a weird thing for you to say. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, that's why I'm excited. <laughs> a, you hate hope, faith, love, and luck. You hate the number four, huh? Or like, oh, there was a mummy on the Titanic. or oh, So right. I'm thinking that Snake, no. Silver is going to try and kill Santa. Clover. Santa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is gonna try and kill uh, Clover at some point then, or like he's that gonna not my, like her. That was my original um, thought too. Yeah, like there's was, gonna be something there. Because he was like, I there. hate the number four. I hate Clovers, and I was like, well, well, shoot. <laughs> well, sounds like, but but it's like, but Pink, why do you? Is that a look? But why do you hate Clover? You know, and it's and, weird because like you shouldn't know anything about her. It's, yeah, it would seem right. Yeah. So I think his excuse of like four is just a lame ass number because it's in the middle of numbers. It's like no, it's like, that's a really, really dumb excuse. So then you hate three, five, six. Why and is seven? Yeah, like do yeah. you hate them a little less the higher the numbers go? Because mm. then like how do you how do you justify that with like fifty and a hundred and a billion and you know yeah like, yeah. So I think he means of like the, you know, nine or uh, I guess 10 common integers. Yeah. So like zero to nine. Yeah. Yeah. It's strange. I've always right. liked the number four. So he's just wrong. Yeah. I, I, four is all right. It's fine. Four is cool. They're all fine. But four is like extra fine. Yeah. <laughs> four is like, oh, you're you're serious. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, it's like one, two, three. It's like, all right, you got yourself a trilogy, a trio, a triple yeah. something. But it's like a four. Whoa. Four. Equal parts. Whoa. Four parts. A court. Resident Evil 4. Whoa. You guys okay. are still going with this, huh? All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, whenever I hear four, I'm like, oh, you're just milking it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not another one. No, I like four. Yeah. No, I think it's, it's a good, good number. All right. Instead of talking about our favorite numbers, uh, we're going to cut here and we'll be back tomorrow with uh, the next part. Yeah. All right, guys. Until then and after then, think critically.